I want to talk about Animal Farm, which is a book I've already read before, two years ago, three years ago, on my Kindle, and it was so good that I had to get a paperback copy. Right now, I am almost finished. This is such a short novella. I recommend every single person to read this at least once in their lifetime. It's so easily digestible, compulsively readable. The language is very easy to read as it was published in 1945. It was written based on the Russian Revolution and Stalinism. I think the overall message of this book is what happens if you try to take control and you abuse your power so much so that you become the thing that you feared the most. That is what I take from this and if you don't know anything about this, it's about basically a farm that is run by pigs. You might have heard a very popular quote from this book which is all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others which is a very confusing quote when I first heard it. Like how can something be more equal? than others like i understand in math like some infinities okay john green some inf infinities are bigger than other infinities but equality more equal like what does that mean of course i understood after i finished reading the book so like i said it is a political satirical allegory and it's a it's a fable as well so when humans and animals interact like when they do trades and stuff the humans are not surprised that the, that the animals are able to do these things because it's a fable so it just happens they accept that this is the nature of animal farm the basic premise is we have mr jones who is a farmer the owner of manor farm and he is quite neglectful he's a drunkard he doesn't care about his animals one night one of the head animals old major so he's a pig so he told the animals that he had a dream and he said his dream showed to him that animals can live a better life and how can they live a better life they can do that if they get rid of the single problem that they have which is man or humans man just takes and takes and takes you know chickens you lay your eggs horses you do all the work dogs when you're old yeah sure you can herd animals now or the sheep you can herd them now but then when you're useless you'll just end up getting killed so basically they perceive this idea of having a man governing them or like taking advantage of them essentially is the main problem so they decided to overthrow this farmer and they eventually did and so we have the pigs the pigs are the ones who are running this farm so they replaced the farmer because the pigs were pretty smart they were able to learn how to read and write so they make the decisions but at the same time not all pigs are in like are on the same page two pigs napoleon and snowball they don't see each other in the eye so there we go there is that immediate conflict right after they win their freedom from the man the lesser intelligent animals just go with the flow they accept whatever the pigs are telling them and they even come up with these seven commandments um, such as animals are not allowed to drink alcohol animals are not allowed to sleep on the bed animals are not supposed to be wearing any clothes by humans so basically you know they're abhorring the practices and the behavior of the humans so they have these and then it was boiled down Oh yeah, the last one of those commandments is all animals are equal, okay? So it all boils down into one maxim, which is four legs good, two legs bad. So it's very simple because they want even the, the stupidest animals to understand what they are fighting for. There we go. And the amount of gaslighting and manipulation that is in this book is so incredibly funny like in a satirical way obviously but i think it's funny because it's true this really happens it's a five star book for me it was a five star then and it's a five star now and like i said there is no wasted paragraph every bit of information that is in this book 
I love it. And also, actually, the very last paragraph, I can still vividly remember the words. And I loved it. There are animals here that symbolize the hard workers. So, they and they do whatever the whoever's in charge is saying. And there's also that parallel with if you're not educated, you don't understand that sometimes these people who are in charge, they're taking advantage advantage of you they're abusing their power because these animals are not educated so they're taking advantage of that and also the thing about having rules and then bending the rules so that it can suit your needs is just mind-blowing the things that like when you read it like the animals are gonna say like hey didn't that rule simply say all animals are equal but now why does it say all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others? The spokesperson keeps on telling them that, don't you remember? It's always been that rule. It's always been that. That's how it was written. And the irony, the irony, really, it's all about turning into something that you abhorred. Okay, you abhorred this. You tried to change the system because you really dislike this the system and then when you finally have the power you adapt the same system that you try to abolish i love it i love it every social science class should read this okay i'm finished so like i said five out of five stars my rating has not changed and i have two parting thoughts number one you will continue to be abused and taken advantage of if you are not aware or if you continue to just blindly follow orders and you won't know if the order is something that is legitimate or if it's reasonable if you are not educated and that is why education is very very important second of all why out of all the farm animals did george orwell pick the pig to be the main antagonist well <laughs> okay I, I had this thought when i read the final paragraph people can be called horses commonly people say you look like a horse <laughs> or some some might say or even offend you if they tell you that you're a dog right so comparing you to a dog or you're a chicken so you're a coward but if someone says you're a pig that is a different level of offense. So comparing a human to a pig. And also, pigs are the only farm animals that are essentially useless until they die. Until you chop them and turn them into meat. So they have nothing to offer in the farm. So if George Orwell chose a chicken, so the chicken lay, chickens lay eggs, and horses they do the 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 hard labor. Yeah, but then a pig, a pig cannot do anything. Read Animal Farm if you have not read it yet, please. It's so good. <laughs>